U-E-E-V-I-I. It doesn't actually say it on this, but that, that's the name of the company. This is, it's like all, all Chinese writing on it. But U-E-E-V-I-I, is it U-V or U-E-V? I don't really know. But this, this is what I'm gonna use to test it. Now these come with covers right here, so they're not exposed, both of them do. However, I've just spent, I wanna say last two hours just kind of configuring, playing, testing, doing everything like in a testing environment. And now at one o'clock in the morning, I am going to go a thousand feet from my house, which is the longest possible way I could go within eyesight. And I'm gonna see what kind of speeds I can get and see if I can get this thing to set up easily. This is a wireless bridge. This uses Wi-Fi, 5.8 gig is what it says. Uh, this is one of those things that it's cool because like, hey, wireless bridge and it's only $90, but it sucks because Hey, cool wireless bridge that can do up to 900 megabits per second. Like they advertise that, but then both of these ports on all of them, both of them only do a hundred megabits per second. So it's like, what? I legitimately think the whole idea here is that if you have, let's say cameras in a barn, maybe you have, you know, a little garage or whatever, and you just need to get some basic internet out there and you don't want to run a cable, this is where this comes in a lot. For $89, I mean, that's pretty good. They offer newer and better ones that have one gig ports in it, but those are $189. So, you know, the entire idea is this. I'm gonna go outside in my backyard. I'm going to plug the cable from my router downstairs and run a big long wire. I'm gonna plug that into this. This is the PoE adapter. It's a 24 volt, so just keep that in mind. You will need this. Uh, I'm gonna plug that into this. This is gonna plug into this. This is this little switch right here is, is set to host, right? So this one is gonna be the broadcaster. It's gonna be the host. And then it, it's going to broadcast it, I think up to like two kilometers is the limit, which is like 1.2 miles. I can't do that. I have no way to test that out, but I can go a thousand feet. Uh, and then this is gonna be in client mode. You see the little switch right there? They got a bunch of buttons for you know selecting and changing and doing stuff and not that big a deal. But the cable I have plugged into the WAM port is going to the PoE right here. This is gonna power it. So that's all that is, is just a power connection, nothing more. And then the LAN is going to go to my router. I'm gonna use my good old trusty, somewhat dirty, I mean, this like little Synology router. I use this for the uh, little camping trip I did where I hooked it up to Starlink, performed great. It's just my random router that still works. So I like to use it. I configured this thing as just strictly access point mode. No more, no router, no DHCP, no nothing, just access point. Because what these do is it has its own little thing, right? You plug a wire into this, you broadcast this wireless, through this wireless bridge into this one, and you can configure it to do a DHCP. But by default, all it's doing is just passing that ethernet connection wirelessly. So all of the DHCP server work is just being relayed through this, through this, back into your router. So you don't really need anything to configure or whatever. And then same thing, passing everything, over to my little Synology router. And since it's running as just a wireless access point, again, no DHCP, no router functionality, it's just an access point. This is kind of one of those like really super simple things to set up, but you can spend a little bit of time configuring things and, and really messing with it. But I'll tell you right now, when I plug both of these in, they automatically connected and they just automatically worked. Everything else that I did to it was just a personal preference stuff that I changed in there. This is the random wood that I built before just to randomly put stuff on. I've used it for a lot of different things, but you can't see it. It angles a little bit to the left. So I'm going to put it right up here. And then whenever I go outside on the back porch, I can just kind of like angle it where it's kind of straight, just like that. It actually doesn't look too bad, but yeah. There you go. Control base number one. I'm gonna leave my light on, maybe even put another light out here. But it points all the way out there. It probably would have been a lot better to do this during the day, but if we're gonna be pointing directly, it's going to be right over there. And through the magic of a zip tie and a tripod, 
I zip tied this here. This is gonna be the receiver. I can pull this and kind of like adjust this around if I need to. So, and then even if I have to go down more, which I really, really don't think I will, I can use the, the feet in order to adjust them more. But this should allow me to kind of align it or whatever and try to get the best power. Don't mind me, Mr. Officer. I'm just sitting on the side of the road, blinkers on, <laughs> setting up my access wireless bridge. So you can see over there, those two lights. Yeah, those are the lights. One's my porch light. The other light is the flashlight that I put on the ground kind of aiming in this direction. So I kind of know where I am. I might have to move this over because of the tree. I don't think I'm, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to move this over. But I can tell you what, the, the tripod idea, that was a good idea. Being able to aim it, it's perfect. A little crappy battery. This thing actually doesn't even go, it doesn't even charge all the way anymore, but still should work. Um, status, get the WAN going, got this turned on, I think, I think it's actually, okay, so when you have it installed, you can push this little button, A, two, three, five, power, negative 66, okay, so it's not like super, but that's pretty good, which I just brought my iPhone to do a speed test on this, because... 100 megabits. I mean, come on. Even if it was more, I could still use my iPhone with that router. It's not like it's not like it's really super fast. First test only gave me 10 megabits per second, so I moved it from right over here to here. Really, I was looking at the reflections on this sign. So, re-aimed it. Let's try this again. Okay, here's what I learned. A few things here. One, see that router sitting on the ground plugged into the battery? There's the uh, uh, repeater receiver thingy. I was getting like crappy speeds, not even moving that, but having the router just over there somewhere like on the side. So I instantly got better results just moving it over there. So I didn't bring a longer ethernet cable. I feel like if I were to move that all the way over here, I would get better results, but two, I think the hookup that I have at the house is actually bad for a very specific reason, and I'll show you why here in a, here in a second. But um, for some reason, my download speeds are terrible, but my upload speeds are getting around that 40, I've seen 45, something like that. So I'm still getting decent speeds, but this is in the dark, just kind of aiming over there. And I use the local, like the, the access in order to see what the, the, the power rating is and to see you know, what the signal quality is. The max I can get about is 77 signal quality, 77% at a, a negative 65, I believe. So um, I'm pretty sure that if I were to do this during the day and actually have some way to have someone over there line it up a little bit and then have me over here line it up a little bit, I could probably get better signal. If I had to put money to guess why my upload and download was imbalanced. It's gonna be because of this, this right here. I didn't have a long enough cable, at least not one readily available, so I use this little connector. I've had problems with these things before. You try to use PoE with them, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't, sometimes PoE will work, but no data won't. Sometimes your upload or your download is imbalanced. These things suck, I don't know why I did that, but I guess in the end of the day, it's like a 100 megabit connection. I was not really expecting much. Okay, so I plugged this stupid little freaking connector thing into my, my main computer, run a speed test, got 15 down, almost 50 up. So yeah, I screwed up, my bad. Anyway, CPE54G, that's what these are. These are $89, I'll link it in the description down below. Here's my thoughts, right? I was super excited to really put these things to the test with me thinking they had one gig uh, ethernet ports on them. Like you could really just see the difference, right? But at 100 megabits per second, if you wanna go something this cheap, this is like running service out to a garage or whatever just to hook up 
you know, some security cameras or really basic internet, web browsing, whatever. And at a thousand feet, I was able, even with a bad ethernet cable, I was able to get 40, 45 ish uh, megabits per second. So, I mean, that's not bad, especially if you consider, I just kind of sort of pointed it in the general direction and hope for the best. Ideally, you're gonna want at least a couple people be able to like resituate or whatever and make sure that these things are aimed correctly. Definitely use the website because you can refresh the screen and it'll tell you like what your signal quality is. And that was a big helper for me. Underneath this little box that I put back on here, it will tell you the power, but you have to cycle through it. And it's a pain in the butt. So you still have to refresh the screen, but using the online thing will be just so much better. Either way, I personally know somebody who actually wants to hook up two cameras in a garage that's about 350 50-ish feet away from his house and he hasn't done that yet because he doesn't want to run a cable and he just does not get Wi-Fi signals so we have like house building and he wants a camera on each side and we can get Wi-Fi signal to one camera but we can't get it around the building on the other camera so uh, this could be the perfect solution so at least because it's 100 megabits I have no use for it at least this is going to make a good gift. Definitely check out the links in the description down below. If you want to check them out for yourself, I would absolutely recommend if you want to go a wireless bridge and you want some more speed, I would recommend checking out something with a faster Ethernet port. This brand seems pretty good, but overall, the whole wireless bridge thing seems like it works pretty good. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or complaints, leave them in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and have yourself great day.